Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the rear shocks on this 2011 Chevy Silverado 1500. Same part and process on the Silverados and Sierras from 2008 to 2013. The items you'll need is new rear shocks from 1AAuto.com, a jack and jack stands, penetrating oil, 21mm socket and ratchet, a piece of pipe for leverage, 21mm wrench, a torque wrench, and a hammer. Okay, so the shocks are obviously um, located right under the vehicle, attached to the rear end and up to the frame. We're going to show you the left side, the right side, same procedure. And to start off, you're going to want to spray some penetrating oil on these bolts, the one at the bottom and then the one up at the top. And using a 21 millimeter socket and ratchet with a piece of pipe, you want to loosen up that bolt. You'll see that the actual bolt will keep turning in there, so you're going to want to use a 21 millimeter wrench on the other side and just loosen up that nut and remove it. And you want to do the same thing to the upper bolt, but you won't need a wrench for this because the nut is actually welded to the truck. Now using a hammer, just hit that bolt out. You can use another bolt or a small screwdriver, just hit that in to push the bolt out. And once that bolt's removed, Swing that down and you can pull the bolt out from up top. So here's the old part in the front and the new part from 1A Auto in the back. You can see they're identical, they'll fit exactly the same. Now take your new rear shock and put it up into place. and replace the bolt. And now you want to swing that lower part into position and I don't, if you could see there it wasn't actually going to reach. So what you want to either do is lower your vehicle so there's a little bit of pressure on the wheels to push that up or just put a jack underneath this bring it up and you're really just trying to get that high enough so that it will match up with the shock and now you can see the bolt slides right in and you just want to replace that nut and we'll fast forward as he tightens these two bolts up Okay, now torque um, the nut on the lower part, 80 to 85 foot-pounds, and same with the bolt up top. Uh, and then go ahead and replace the other side. We always recommend you replace your shocks in pairs. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll-free, 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.